camp. You wanna come to camp and be a counselor. We call that cabin staff. Okay. Start it off there. Messages. <laughs> Messages. <laughs> Let's not do that one. <laughs> Kids need you to spend time with them. Love. <laughs> A can of chunk <laughs> of chunky soup. We lost <laughs> Chunky soup, just like Mama makes. <laughs> Why do we do camp? Camp exists so kids can experience God in a life-changing way. We have the opportunity to invest more time with kids at camp in one week than we do the rest of the year combined. Kids Camp is a high energy environment where students can have fun with each other and their cabin staff. Our goal as cabin staff is to create a fun and loving environment for kids to experience God in a life-changing way. Above all else, remember this, camp is for the camper. Let's talk about cabin staff basics. Consider six things you will do to change the life of a kid this week. We want you to invest intentional time, love, words, fun, team, and spiritual awareness. This is our camp structure. Camp's built around three key environments, our morning chapel, cabin times, and response chapel. One, morning chapel is designed to be fun and interesting from beginning to end. We'll worship together, play games, and hear a message from our camp speaker. Help kids stay focused and engaged. Be proactive about preparing your kids to sit through chapel. Go to the bathroom before and help eliminate distractions. Cabin time. This is your time to pour into students in a focused small group setting. We will develop a cabin time guide to help you know what to say and expand on the speaker's big idea. But feel free to help kids process in their own way. Let your kids ask questions and use the cabin time guide as a point of reference, not necessarily as a curriculum. Response Chapel provides an opportunity to respond to the big ideas of the day through corporate prayer, worship, and response stations. Pray with your kids and demonstrate the example of what prayer and worship looks like. Remember, you're the model this week. Please make sure that men pray with boys only and women pray with girls. Camp Conduct will identify healthy boundaries among kids and cabin workers. Be appropriate with kids. Do not engage in crude or demeaning jokes or pranks. Be encouraging. Build them up and don't be afraid to discipline or correct if you notice inappropriate behavior in your group or cabin setting. Camp has a strict closed campus policy to ensure safety. But if you do leave, my Starbucks order is a venti iced coffee, light cream, no sweetener. Please don't invite anyone in and plan to stay on site for the duration of our camp. We get it if you need to make a Starbucks run. Just make sure there are enough leaders to cover your kids and give our camp director a heads up before you leave the premises. Be modest in your clothing choices. Be aware of how clothes fit, messages that t-shirts are conveying, and ladies, please wear a one-piece bathing suit or a dark t-shirt over a two-piece bathing suit. Don't bring any bad stuff to camp. No weapons, illegal or recreational drugs, no tobacco or vaping products, no weapons, Again, it's really important, no weapons, no gaming consoles, no pets, especially cats, and no major distractions. Be responsible in your cabin. Make sure kids respect lights out and get lots of sleep. As the leader, sleep by the door. Protect the environment of your cabin. Never leave your kids without a cabin leader. Don't let boys or girls around doors or windows of the opposite gender's cabin. Keep doors closed when people are changing. Don't change in front of your kids. Please just be wise and discerning. These are just the highlights. You are required to take time thoroughly to read through the detailed cabin staff rules and codes of conduct. Reporting child abuse is something that we take very seriously. Washington state law requires the mandatory reporting of child abuse. By agreeing to serve as a cabin staff, you also agree to report any incidents of child abuse shared with you at camp. You are required to report any type of reported abuse, whether it be physical, neglect, or sexual that has taken place at camp, either at the camp or prior to camp in the child's home setting. If a child opens up about an abusive situation, report it to the camp director immediately and complete the required incident report form. When it comes to medication or homesickness, make sure you are aware of your camper's special needs. You're in charge of knowing required medications that campers in your cabin require. 
all medication will be checked in with the camp nurse upon arrival at camp. Throughout the week, know your kid's medication schedule and take them to check in with the nurse or medication when needed. Don't worry, the nurse will help you by giving you paperwork with the info and will help you manage your kids. Also, be aware of any allergies in your cabin and be sure to safeguard your kids. We will have a camp mom and camp dad on site to help kids struggling with homesickness or private issues such as bedwetting. Cabin decor is a fun element of camp that will inspire and include all of your campers. And it's pronounced decor, not decor. Bring decorations for your cabin. Pay attention to the camp theme. Involve all your kids in decorating the cabin or tent and make it home for the week. That'll just be fun. See the manual for a full list of suggested items to bring for the cabin. Feel free to give us a call or send us an email if you have any questions. You can download and read the full cabin staff manual. As a cabin staff, you are committed to the policies in this manual, so we ask that you read the manual and abide by the policies. Thank you for sacrificing your time and energy to pour into kids at camp. For many, this will truly be a life-changing experience, and you are a huge part of that. We are looking forward to an excellent and powerful week of kids camp. See you there. Weighing in at 65 pounds, Bobby Phillips from Monroe, Washington. It's wet to show the way from the cross to the grave. Shake it off, shake it off, ooh, ooh, ooh.